Hello guys and uh, welcome to this uh, new video. In this video we're going to learn how to make a clipping mask. Uh, so let's do it. So uh, for this video, for this exercise, we need a shape like this and we need a picture like this. So, um, well, like this. <laughs> so, um, okay. Uh, the first thing is just create the uh, shape. I'm going here to the custom uh, custom shape uh, to the custom shapes, and um, you can even use a circle, or rectangle, or any shape so you you want. I'm using this to grab it. So and just click on the document. Just click, click and drag drag uh, always uh, using shift on the keyboard just to 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 make uh, the transformation just to create the shape in the correct way you know uh, so we create the, uh, the shape and um, so and then of this so we need a picture so to do that so um, I have uh, here a picture from onsplash.com um, so you can find here uh, free pictures I uh, just remember uh, attribute the author so and we just uh, we're just going going to, to copy the picture we just got, uh, we're going to, to copy this and paste it just paste, uh, paste it on the document. So, and we we have already uh, the, the elements we need. So here in the layers panel, so it is pretty important uh, having the shape um, behind or at the bottom. Um, okay, the shape is always. Um, uh, it's going to to have the first place you know in the layers panel so and then uh, on the top the picture so we want to get into the shape you know so so it is that pretty yeah, important so we just do right click on the picture this uh, on the layers picture and uh, we just create uh, the clipping mask so and we just get the uh, defect so that's how we get that uh, this this action so so now we're just going to 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 change a little bit the size um, uh, I'm using control plus uh, minus to change the zoom and so I'm going just to convert this to a, uh, to a smart object and then after this, uh, I'm going to press Ctrl plus T and I'm going just to, to change the size a little bit, a little bit like this. And um, so in order just to, to, to get the, the appearance or uh, the look uh, I want. So use that. So use that, uh, I had here, I already have the the picture just there, so I think that's everything for the video. That's everything for the, the exercise the exercise for today. Please let me know in the comments if you find this helpful. You can use this in in your entire life, you know, as a editor, or if you're uh, you're having a mind just learning uh, graphic design or you know if you want to to uh, to make your life uh, as a graphic designer so if, so this tool is just basic it is it is something that you're going to use every, every always 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 it is something really useful uh, you can make I uh, use it with a with inside a circle or rectangle, I don't know. 
but I think that's everything for today please let me know in the comments what you think and um, don't forget to go to the channel and s watch more videos so thank you so much for the support and uh, that's everything and see you in the next one